Hello everyone. After several updates to Nintendo 3DS emulators in recent weeks, today I'm bringing you a video where we'll discover which is the best project for you to enjoy the vast library of this incredible handheld console, directly from wherever you are. We compare Lime 3DS, Citra Enhanced, and Citra MMJ, highlighting the version that allows access to games via USB in the benchmark mode, which enables full use of Android's power. We'll talk about that later. First, let's discuss Lime 3DS, which had its latest update last week, bringing minor improvements such as some user interface fixes and an experimental feature called Adreno Boost. As the name suggests, this feature will only work on devices with Adreno GPUs. Although it can offer some performance gain, I honestly prefer to disable it. For those who don't know, this feature makes the GPU work at maximum clock speed at all times. While this may seem useful, it's better to let the device control the GPU clock itself. The two main reasons are battery management and device temperature. If the device exceeds the temperature indicated by the manufacturer, it will cause an effect that all of us who play on Android do not want, the notorious thermal throttling. Lime 3DS, in its latest version, is a very modern emulator that allows the user to modify most of the options and features, in addition to allowing the change of the video driver if the device is using an Adreno GPU. You can use pre-programmed or customized 3DS screen layouts if none of the standard layouts please you. It runs most games at a decent speed, and users will hardly notice the lack of any feature. The only point I think could be improved in this project is the shader compilation, which may seem somewhat slow compared to other projects. For those looking for an option more similar to Citra before it was discontinued, Lime 3DS is an excellent choice. Although some features could be improved, it is still practically on the same level as where Citra stopped. Citra MMJ Citra MMJ seemed like an abandoned project, without a major update for a long time. However, a new version was released on May 20th, enabling a function that makes Android see the app as a benchmark app. This way, Android allows the app to deliver maximum performance without any limitations. Basically, this was the only significant improvement the app received. Positives I recommend Citra MMJ for a few specific reasons. Mainly, it should be used if you have problems with other Nintendo 3DS emulator projects. As it is a performance-based emulator and not precision-based, weaker devices have a better chance of achieving good performance with Citra MMJ. Negatives On the other hand, there are several reasons not to recommend Citra MMJ. Predefined layouts There are no good options for predefined layouts for playing in horizontal mode. The screens look strange and small, requiring you to customize your own layout for a better experience. External control configuration. There is no way to manually configure external controls. For example, when using a DualShock 4, the A and B, X and Y buttons are inverted, and there is no way to fix this. Resolution scaling. The resolution scaling can only be increased up to 4X, not allowing for a resolution close to 1080p. Custom video drivers. Custom video drivers like Turnip cannot be used. CirclePad Pro support. Some games with CirclePad Pro support are not recognized correctly. The right analog stick, which should control the in-game camera, does not function as it should. Despite being a good emulator, Citra MMJ still has several limitations. These absences can make a big difference, especially for those with an average device seeking a more complete experience. Lastly, let's talk about Citra Enhanced. For those who are not familiar, Citra Enhanced is a mixed version of Citra MMJ with the traditional Citra but with many improvements over both projects. In recent days, the project has received more than 20 fixes, both for Android and Windows. There are so many improvements that I will mention only the most important ones. Main improvements. Addition of frame skip. Although in an experimental version, this feature allows you to run games on weaker devices, improving gameplay. CPU emulation improvements. There have been significant improvements in CPU emulation, resulting in a performance gain of up to 4x compared to previous versions depending on the game. Modern Interface Citra Enhanced offers a modern interface where you can easily find everything you need. External Control Configuration You can manually configure external controls, something that is missing in other emulators. Compatibility with Turnip Drivers The emulator supports any Turnip driver, which can provide even better performance. Amiibo Support and Custom Layouts Citra Enhanced allows the use of Amiibos and offers both standard and custom screen layouts in a decent manner. Compatibility, smoothness, and accuracy. Compatibility is excellent, offering smoothness and accuracy in games. 
Along with Lime 3DS, the user will not notice the lack of any important features. Everything is here. In addition, there is still Citra developed by Pablo MK7, one of the original developers of Citra. However, this project has not received many performance improvements, and remains very similar to Citra before it was discontinued. For this reason, we will not go into details about it, but if you are nostalgic for Citra, it is worth checking out. Before we go to the tests, I would like to ask you to click the like button to help promote the video. And if this is your first time on the channel, consider subscribing for new videos every week. Setup used. For the tests, we are using a ROG Phone 6 with 8GB of RAM, connected to a capture card. This means that the results you will see here are not influenced by capture software. We are also using an external cooler to keep the device temperature low. In terms of resolution, we are using the 3DS resolution multiplied by 4, which is the maximum resolution supported by Citra MMJ. Other projects support higher resolutions. All the results presented here are authentic and will not be affected by editing. Let's get to the tests. The first game tested was Metal Gear Solid 3, a title ahead of its time that struggled to run on the 3DS, reaching only 20 FPS during normal gameplay. This is considered the worst version of the game, as the PlayStation 2 version runs at 30 FPS, dropping to 20 FPS only during cutscenes. Immediately noticeable was the good performance of Citra MMJ, which utilizes about 60% of GPU resources, while the other two competitors max out their capacity. Citra MMJ is the only one able to maintain a constant speed of 200%. Citra Enhanced also achieves this value but frequently drops to around 170%. Lime 3DS lags behind, reaching only 36 FPS, about 180% of the speed, falling short of our 200% target. The second game tested was Resident Evil Revelations, chosen for its impressive visuals on the 3DS and various issues loading new areas due to shader compilation. The first test evaluates the highest FPS the game can achieve. Similar to the previous test, Citra MMJ outperformed, delivering more frames per second. However, it's not without drawbacks. The emulator does not enable Circle Pad Pro and external controls, nor does it support L2 and R2 buttons. This means that despite offering better performance, you may encounter issues with controls. Citra Enhanced came in second place, with higher FPS than Lime 3DS, but it's worth noting that Lime 3DS offers greater stability. Gameplay doesn't depend solely on higher FPS, so we tested shader compilation to see which emulator performs better. Entering a new area and seeing your game freeze for two seconds breaks immersion. For this test, we entered a new area and demonstrated how the environment renders in slow motion. In this comparison, with the game's speed reduced by 75%, Lime 3DS loads all objects at once without freezing. Citra Enhanced loads the environment quickly but does not prevent the emulator from freezing. Citra MMJ is the slowest of all, initially loading the empty environment, with objects appearing after Jill is already in the room. Lastly, we tested Smash Brothers, a game that demands extensive shader compilation with four CPUs fighting simultaneously. The results were similar to previous tests, with Citra MMJ leading, maintaining nearly 200% speed consistently, without maxing out the GPU load and delivering more FPS. Second place was tied between Citra Enhanced and Lime 3DS. Citra Enhanced provides a higher frame rate, while Lime 3DS offers more stability. Now that you've seen the practical differences between the projects, let's draw our conclusion. It's evident that Citra MMJ performs better, especially on basic devices. However, the absence of important features such as control settings, circle pad, and triggers may deter those seeking a more modern experience akin to current consoles and PCs. Lack of support for turnip drivers also limits its potential on Snapdragon devices. Finally, we have a near tie between Lime 3DS and Citra Enhanced. The main difference lies in shader compilation and stability. Citra Enhanced supports frame skips and cycle skips in newer versions, which can be useful if you're looking for something more modern and feature-rich, especially if your device struggles with performance. However, these features do not always yield consistent results. Overall, the rule of thumb is to have multiple projects at your disposal. When choosing a game, use your favorite project, and if you encounter issues, test it on others until you find the one that offers the best experience, whether more faithful to the console or smoother. And that wraps up our video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.